I, th- I think my my favourite here, uh, it, which in school physics we do a little bit of it, it is called the wave equation. So this started back in the 1700s with a mathematician or two or three mathematicians who were, they were actually in competition with each other. The mathematicians of those days were, um, it was all one-upmanship. It was, can you prove this before I do? Can you solve this equation first? They set each other challenges, but they were looking at how a violin string vibrates. They weren't even looking at a real violin or a real string. They were looking at a mathematical line (laughs) fixed between two points, uh, perfectly uniform, vibrating in a very, very small amplitude oscillation, just very tiny movements. And they wrote down an equation for the violin string. It's called the wave equation. It's a very pretty equation. Um, The same equation turned up Oh, 200 plus years later, round about that, no, maybe 200, um, in radio waves, in electromagnetic radiation, in light, in radio. And that equation was what told the physicists that radio waves existed. All of modern communications (coughs) happened because a mathematician had a completely ridiculous, oversimplified model of a violin string. (laughs) Wow. That's how it works. (laughs) 